Hey, what's up? This is Marvin Mechanics. Um, today I'm just kind of showing you a little process of my guitars, except this time I'm going to actually walk through it. Um, so first, start with the left. I have them both. I have two channels. One's hard left, one's hard right. I think I said that in the last video. A lot of the stuff I might end up repeating myself a little bit, but I just figured I'd show you guys the actual process overall instead of just talking about it, you know, so... Yeah, I have my presets right here, but for this video, I'm going to... Right, usually I do, I use, like to use Amp 2 and the, S, and the Will Putney STL. Amp 2 and then Cab 3. These are my two preferences. I usually use these in just about every song. Um, then just like minor things I'll change up here and there. So, like the knobs and stuff. So... Bring gain down to two, volume down to two, should be about right. Um, focus. For the left, I'll bring the focus and presence all the way down. Trebles up, mid, I leave the bass so there's room for the drums and bass guitar. Um, distortion, have the gain down, tone up a little bit. Actually, for this one, I'll bring the gain up just a little and then have the tone right, right about there. Um, yeah, I'll leave that as is, and then, yeah, it looks like it's glitching out right here, but, uh, the noise gate I like to have up, probably about middle right there is usually about good, that way it doesn't cut off too much while I'm playing, but, um, guitar two, let's see, make sure this is the right one. Yeah, this one's wrong, because the other one you're able to, as you saw, you can actually edit out the cab and stuff. This one, for some reason, you can't, so sorry about that. I'm going to have to reload that real fast. Might as well just delete that other one. I don't even know why I have two of the same plugins loaded. All right, uh, amp two, cab, same thing, go to cab three. Um, that's why I didn't get to show that right here. Make sure so I don't get confused. I'll go back to this one real fast. Okay, so cab, yeah, usually for this one I'll have it right about the middle right there. Um, and then for this I usually leave these alone. Um, but then... Guitar 2, I'll bring it out just a little bit like that. That way it gives it a little bit more space, because the closer to the middle you get, it's more bright, and then further to the left you have it, it gets a little bit more muddy, so you want to have that a little, a little bit balanced. And for me, it mostly depends on if I'm doing just rhythm guitar or if I'm doing leads too, because with leads, I like to have that a little bit more muddy since all the high kind of makes up for all the high frequencies and stuff that you got from playing lead. Um, bring out the distance just a little bit, maybe the angle too. I mean, if you guys have this, you just experiment with it really. I mean, you could do pretty much whatever with it as far as getting metal sound like this specific plugins, like just for metal pretty much. Like a lot of the other plugins I've had are kind of like for everything, you know, whatever, like blues or whatever, but this one's like strictly metal, like I don't even know how much of a clean tone I can really get out of it, I usually just use other stuff for clean, cleans, but, um, yeah, back, have this back down, focus, yes, yeah, so we turn down the other two, we'll keep these ones at both at six, but then we'll bring these back up, we may have printed down the, uh, Leave that, see how that sounds right there, and then I think the pedals. Let's see, the other one I had turned up, so yeah, this one's we'll keep these ones turned down at least the tone. You'll see why it kind of gives it more, more of a space. I noticed when I started messing with them, almost like uh, like a stereo effect or something. 
But um, all right, let's see how it sounds as is. Yeah, I mean, it's good enough, I guess. I mean, it really it's, comes down to preference when it's guitars. Some people like them like this. Some people want it a little bit more muddy, especially if you're playing in the really low, like, drop G or something like that. Then that's definitely not the process you want to go. But still thought I'd show you guys that. Um, anyways, yeah, take care. Thanks for watching.